Okay, the first piece of software that we're going to need to use is Audio Share. So we're going to load up Audio Share, pick out some drum samples, dump those into Koala, and then let's see what we can get cooking. So first off, into Audio Share. Okay, load those onto a pad. Now we can edit that. So I want just this beginning here where the kick is. Perfect. Copy that across the next one. And then I want the hi-hat on this. Nice. Copy that across. Let's get the snare. Let's see I've got one shot on. I want the whole of the sample to play. Okay. And let's drag that across to the next one. Tighten up a bit. And then we'll have that little kick, the extra kick there. We'll have that at the end. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to want this kick with the open hi-hat. That's useful. Put that one there. Now usually I'd take multiple kicks, multiple snares, multiple hi-hats from the same loop if I've got them. I'm going to leave that for now. We're just going to hook this up. So what, 89 beats per minute sounds good. I'll put the metronome on, keep it quantized. Okay, that's off. See, so dump that, picked it up and just dropped it into the bin. So you can see I've got a little pattern there that I quite like. Dropping in extra hits here. Just keep it recording and it records straight over the top. If there's one that I don't like, I can just do a clear pad, record that individual hit again. Turn the metronome off. I'm happy enough with that. Okay, so what else are we going to add? So I'll drop in start getting something a little bit musical so I need to go back into import go back to my samples again I'm going to pick a road chord yeah that sounds good we'll go with that it's got a little bit of excess there I'll trim that off don't want that now I'm not going to make this one as a one shot enough. You see that I grabbed that, used the keyboard, selected that and played it across the keyboard. Now in case I make a mistake, I want to use the same sound in a higher register, but I've made a duplicate of it. So then I can delete one without deleting the other. Should we put a little bit of something on top? Obviously, usually I'd be putting in bass lines and all this kind of stuff, but for the basis of this video, I just want to show you quickly how to kind of get up and running. So, I've got some little speaking spell bits. I've done those in there. This will become quite obvious in a minute. Yeah, it's pretty corny. We're going to go for it though. Just one more, and then drop that in there. Nice, that'll do. So I want these all to be one shots. S A S Q W A X. Yeah, prizes for guessing that I was going to do that. Okay, I've still got that on keyboard mode. So. A. 
Okay, is that the best track we're ever going to make? It's unlikely. But it's good enough. Now, to get this into Ohm, what I need to do is solo all the bits out so that I've got loops of just the elements that I want. So you'll see that I just dragged it across and duplicated it. Now I'm clearing it pad so that this one here... So that one was just a speak and spell. The first one was just a speak and spell. This one, I'm going to delete the other bits. So I'm clearing out the pads. Take the speak and spell bit off now. And let's get rid of all the drum samples. So I've got the two different chords and melodies. Now because I copied the pad, I'm using the same sound, but I can delete, I can separate them from one another. So I just clear the pad. So then I've got the low version and the high version kept separately. Excellent. So the only thing that actually needs to be four bars is the speaking spell. I'll take everything back down to two bars. got the drums there. Don't actually need this bit here. So w. Like that. Great, so I've got those four elements. I've got the drums, speak and spell, the high keys and the low keys. So now I'm going to export those as loops. I'm going to send them over to Audio Share. Unpack them in there so that they're good to go. Now, just to save time, I've gone back in and edited them so that we've got the right name for them. So that when we load them into Ohm, it's all going to be good to go. Just there's no point you watching me do that. May as well make the video as quick as possible. So you'll see they've now got names when we bring them into this. I've just done that off camera. Okay. So let's drop it down to the tempo. We know that's 89. First off, I'm going to set up a mix group. So we're going to have that as A so that I can put things on the master channel. Then everything else is going to go through. I'm going to open a file player for each of the four loops that we've got, and they're all going to send out to mix bus A. So I'll make sure they're all looped. First one, I'll put the drums on. See, so you can see that I've called it drums now. I'm just going to do the same thing for the other three. So let's have another audio track. Again, let's set out file player. We're going to set the mix bus to A again. Let's load it up. Go into where I've saved them. Put the low keys in. Make sure it's looped. And another one. Do the same for the high keys. File player. Get it looped. Pick the file. And just set it down to mix bus A again. Then we got the last one for the speak and spell. So come down to that one. Let's set that one to mix bus A. And then we're good. Let's see what it sounds like. some of these tracks. Let's add some effects on. Let's go for the drums.
that's your lot. So you can see I used mostly presets, I just threw on some basic effects there. Um, you can get in a lot deeper. There was just four channels of audio, there's lots more stuff you can do. Ideally I would have spent a lot more time on it in terms of adding more sounds in. And then obviously there's the arrangement for you to then do once you get to that stage. I like to use MIDI controllers, I like to use bringing in things in and out, fading them in and out with effects and things like that. Do it obviously however you want to do it. I'll show you some more examples, but I just wanted to get this first one down, keep it quick and brief, give you an idea of how I work with Koala and bringing those things into Ohm just to make use of all the fantastic plugins that there are. The plugins that I actually used were, um, initially I used Degrader, obviously I just went for presets, you can get much more interesting sounds out of it than I've used today, but I used Degrader and DAW Cassette on the drums. Just to kind of give them a bit of extra beef. I also used a grader on the lower keys. On the higher keys, I used the Modly Delay, which is quite a new one that's just come out from Clevgrand, which I really like. Also used that one on the Speak and Spell. And on both of them, I put them through the Spring Reverb of IVCS3, which is a stunning Spring Reverb emulation. It works really well within IVCS3, and I will do videos on some of the various synths and things that I use when I'm using more of the sound creation elements on the iPad. But it can be used really powerfully by employing it within Ohm to have plug-in effects. So one of the ones that you can use is the Spring Reverb, which has become my kind of go-to reverb. And then on the bus, I just put the Low Fly Dirt which just kind of brings it all together, gives it a bit of extra beef. Like I said, you can spend a lot more time on this. It's far from a finished track, um, but it gives you an idea of how you can put your ideas together quickly and simply using basically three programs. So I use Audio Share to get the audio in and out of Ohm and Koala. Um, and also I downloaded the things from, uh, from my Dropbox so I can share files to Dropbox Audio Share will allow me to pull that back down, stick it in there so I can load it into Koala. Then I exported things from Koala into Audio Share, which allowed me to then communicate with Ohm, renamed them in there, brought them into Ohm, and then there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some ideas of what you could be doing on iOS if you fancy giving it a try. Hopefully, things will be a little bit smoother. I'll get into the routine of how to make a bit more professional quality video. But just to get things up and running, hopefully it's not too bad. Thank you for your time.